वेलकम टू जेसी ई कनेक्ट इट्स लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव नेटवर्क थेरी एटीन इसी थर्टी टू सो इन द लास्ट क्लास डिस्कस्ड अबउट द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट ऑफ द नोड वोल्टेज एनालिसिस सो इन दिस टू डेज क्लास सो विल टेक वन पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम्पल सो हाउ इट कैन बी डन यूजिंग नोड वोल्टेज एनालिसिस ओके नोट ऑन द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट नाउ सो प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट गोज इन दिस वे यूज नोड वोल्टेज एनालिसिस find the voltage across 5 ohm for the given circuit so this is the given circuit in this circuit 5 ohm is here so i need to find the what is the voltage across 5 ohm resistor right so for betterment of understanding uh, the conceptual purpose so i am taking both analysis that is mesh analysis as well as node analysis for your betterment understanding so i'll solve the same numerical in both cases whether we'll get the same answer or not as well as so we will come to know at the end what is the similarities and dissimilarities between the mesh analysis and node analysis right so in this uh, numerical what is the first step identify the number of loops so here we have the two loops that is x loop as well as say y loop up to this one identifying the loops so we need to write the sign convention entry sign plus exit sign minus here plus minus With respect to here plus minus, with respect to y loop plus minus. Now apply the cable to the first loop. We start from this point. It's a minus hundred, minus hundred. Then here plus entry sign sign should be written. Ten x here five shared between x and y. Since we are writing with respect to x loop, that will be x minus y. Therefore five x minus y, which is equal to zero. Right. So ten x here five x total fifteen x. Minus 5y, so minus 100 this side, so plus 100. Call this as equation number one. Similarly, cable to the second loop. So what you will get? You start from this point, so it is 10y. Then plus 200. At this point, it's a five shared between y and x, but we are writing with respect to y. Therefore, plus 5y minus x is equal to zero. So x terms are minus 5x plus y terms are 5 and 10. So 15y, which is equal to plus 200 this side minus 200. Calls as equation number two. Upon solving uh, for x and y, so I'll get x value as say 2.5, then y value as say minus 12.5. So you can use uh, Cramer's rule or uh, two simultaneous equation. So whatever the answer we got now, these are the mesh currents. Therefore, these are units are amperes. Right? What is the question? What is across five ohm? So we should we know that uh, V equal to what I into R. What is the R value here? Five ohm. What is the I value? I cannot be only x or y. It is a difference between x and y. It is shared between what x and y. So therefore, I can be written as x minus y into what R. Right. What is x value? Two point five. What is y value? Minus of minus twelve point five into what? Uh, R value five. So two point five. So minus of minus plus twelve point five. It is a fifteen. Fifteen five is a seventy five volts. This is what the required answer. What the voltage across five ohm resistor using what? Mesh analysis. Therefore, voltage across five ohm resistor will be what? Seventy five volts. This is what about the mesh analysis. The same thing will cover with what node voltage analysis. How exactly the comparison, right? So in this numerical, first identify the number of nodes. So I told that a node should be a which connects at least minimum number of three elements. Here, if I take the node which connects a voltage source and resistor, it will become only two elements. So better to take the which uh, node which connects at least three elements: 10 ohm, 5 ohm, 10. Right in this numerical, so this is a V1. So I'll take this one as a reference node. So V reference will be what zero volts. Right. So we have assume right some conditions. Incoming currents are taken negative. Outgoing currents are taken positive. All the nodes are at high potential. High potential. Right, so we'll assume that V1 is at higher potential. Current flow will flow in this direction. 
so current will flow in this direction current will flow in this direction means all the currents are outgoing means right so in the kvl or that is mesh analysis we will write the ir products that is 10x means 10 is a resistor x is a current right so in this case node voltage we know the ohms law v equal to ir we should write i equal to v by r so v by r ratio we should write in this kcl right now i'll write apply kcl at node v1 right so we told that incoming currents are negative outgoing currents are positive any incoming currents are there to this node no all the currents are outgoing we should write all terms are positive right only outgoing currents are there no incoming currents right so therefore we should write with respect to this current right so difference voltage that is v1 so in this uh, one more voltage is there it's a 100 here it is plus we should write minus minus 100 whole divided by in this path what is the resistance value 10 plus so in this path v1 minus 0 so why because 0 volts so therefore v1 minus 0 so you should not write so just divided by what in that path what is the resistance value 5 plus one more in this path v1 difference voltage is how much v1 minus 200 so in that path what is the resistance value 10 ohm which is equal to 0 why because no incoming currents are so if i write here it is a minus and plus it is there so in that case v1 plus we should write so opposite sign of this we should write right so in this path so divided by so in that path what is the resistance value that we should divide right what is the next step so here we have considered the two nodes v1 and reference node so how many equations i got only one equation right call this equation as one so in this uh, introductory class i have taken these one as va and vb and reference voltage r1 r2 r3 these are the resistors since in this numerical we know the value of va vb that is uh, voltage source values as well as resistance value so only thing is that only one equation is there only one unknown is there it is, it is very easy to what uh, calculate the unknown variable so now the step is that uh, take the lcm so lcm here 10 so for this term we should write multiply once right 10 once a 10 right here it is 2 here it is what 1 right so multiply the terms so v1 minus 100 it is a 2 v1 plus v1 minus 200 which is equal to 0 if i multiply this 10 with a 0 this will go 0 right so v1 minus 100 plus 2 v1 plus v1 minus 200 is equal to 0 collect the v1 terms v1 2 v1 v1 so 4 v1 minus 100 minus 200 this side 300 so therefore v1 equal to what 75 volts see this directly i am getting voltage across 5 ohm resistor as what 75 volts now we'll discuss what is the similarities and dissimilarities with respect to mesh analysis as well as node analysis since we are getting the answer as same right what is the question what is across 5 ohm so using mesh analysis also i got 75 volts so using node voltage also i got the 75 volts right what is the first step here in the mesh analysis identify the number of loops denote with the xy here what is the first step identify the number of nodes denote with a v1 v2 v3 up to vn right sign convention we should write plus minus entry sign plus exit sign minus similarly for all the register values here show the directions of outgoing currents right here apply the kvl right start from this one entry sign we should write and the product of ir we should write here we should write the kcl at particular node all the outgoing currents are a positive all incoming currents are negative and the nodes are at higher potential this is a convention so in the mesh analysis we will write ir product right so in uh, node voltage analysis we will write v by r ratios right once you got the equations we will solve by uh, simultaneous or direct Cramer's rule so here you will get the loop current as a direct answer okay once you get the loop currents using mesh analysis we can easily calculate the voltage using ohm's law right but in this case once you write the equation you will directly get the node voltages node voltages directly but if you want current 
so already we have written these current terms current say assume that this is i1 this is say i2 this is i3 if they ask what is the value of i1 i1 so no need to get confused so this term i1 current already we have written that is v1 minus 100 by 10 so this term already we have written so you know the value of v1 75 minus 100 by 10 75 minus 100 is what minus 25 minus 25 by 10 it's a minus 2.5 right so that is the answer so if i want the i2 value here so v1 by 5 v1 is what 75 75 by 5 it's a 15 amperes right similarly i3 if you want right what is the current i3 it's a v1 minus 200 by 10 substitute the value of v1 75 minus 200 by 10 so minus 120 by 10 it's a minus what 12.5 amperes this is how the comparison between a node voltage and the mesh analysis to solve a particular problem right hope uh, all of you understood so i'll continue with the same concept of different numericals in the next class thank you